Welcome to Omega Open Course. In the first video of this series, we described what motion constraint is. We also saw that the constraint in motion due to strings is called a string constraint. In order to find the relation between the motion of two blocks connected together using a network of pulleys and strings, you need to understand one basic idea. The length of the strings are constant. So the blocks and the pulleys must move in a manner so that the length of the string do not change. To find the relation, we move one of the blocks by some distance. Then we calculate total length of a string it requires to move by that much. Since the length of the string is constant, the other block must move by exactly the amount which provides the required length of the string. For example, consider this simple setup. This setup is called an Atwood machine. When this system is released, the heavier block will move down while the lighter block will move up. Since the length of the string cannot change, the lighter block must move up by exactly as much as the heavier block has moved down. Since both the blocks move by exact same distance, the speed and acceleration of both the blocks must be equal at all instants during the motion. Thus in this case, from a string constraint, we get that the displacement, velocity and acceleration of both the blocks must always be equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. Consider this example. As the block on the left moves down, it pulls the smaller pulley on the right up. The other block moves up with the pulley. When the pulley on the right moves up, let's say by distance x, then the length of the strings on the both sides of the smaller pulley decreases by x. Therefore, the length of the string on the right side of the bigger pulley has decreased by 2x. All this string must have gone to the left side of the bigger pulley. Therefore, the block on the left must have moved down by 2x. Thus, the magnitude of the displacement, velocity and the acceleration of the block on the left must be double of the displacement, velocity and the acceleration of the block on the right. Let us consider another example. In this case, the block on the right will move as the pulley connected to it moves. So when the block moves down by distance x, the pulley connected to it also moves down by x. The pulley is being pulled by the string at three places. So when it moves down by distance x, all the three segments of the string pulling it increases in the length by x. So if it has to move down by distance x, it needs exactly 3x length of string. But the only way it can get that much of a string is when the block on the left moves up by distance 3x. So the magnitude of the displacement, velocity and acceleration of the block on the left must be thrice the value of displacement, velocity and acceleration of the block on the right. Finally, as you can see, the bigger block is being pulled by the string at 5 places. So when it moves down by distance x, the length of each of these segments of the string increases by x. So the total string the block needs to move is 5x. All this string must be provided by the smaller block. So the smaller block must move up by 5x. Hence, the magnitude of the displacement, velocity and acceleration of this smaller block must be 5 times the magnitude of the displacement, velocity and the acceleration of the bigger block. In this video, we discuss two block systems with single string. In the next video, we will discuss two block systems with multiple strings. A string constant cannot be learned properly unless you solve a large number of questions on it. Unfortunately, in the books available in the market, the questions of a string constant or motion constant are scarce and scattered. To resolve this problem, we have prepared a mini book which focuses entirely on a string constant and motion constant. This book explains a string constant using several illustrated examples. It also explains different methods used to write constant relations, like by inspection, to concept of approach and separation velocity, using conservation of energy, and by writing constant equations. It consists of about 200 questions of string constant and motion constant, ranging from very preliminary questions to pretty advanced ones, along with hints and solutions. No matter at what stage of preparation you are, this book is very helpful. You can buy this book from Amazon. The links are given in the descriptions below. Subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon to get the notification when we upload a new video. Thank you for watching.